Welcome back to Point Blank. Despite Singapore's ailing birth rate, some are still resorting to abortion as a way to solve copulating accidents. And according to the statistics given by MOH, the total number of abortions has dropped slightly since 2006, from 12,032 to 11,933. But the abortion rates has maintained a steady 15% from 2003 to 2007. What are some of the issues to do with abortion? Well, let's take a look. Have you ever considered abortion or thought through the positive and negative effects of abortion? Since the legalization of abortion in Singapore in 1969, the word abortion has carried with it a huge burden of emotions like fear and sadness, as well as issues of religion, money and human rights. Razor TV today explores what abortion really means. Well, but can the same thing that has been used to detect life be used for abortions as well? We'll check it out right now. Tiny promises you keep Silent words you've yet to speak Little smiles behind those sparkling eyes Mothers have embraced have ultrasound technology as a tool for them to probe into the health and well-being of their babies even before they are born. And this technology has advanced from 2D to 3D and now 4D, such that parents no longer have to make do with blurry, fuzzy, black and white still images of their babies. Rather, they can now enjoy clear moving visuals of their baby in real time. But is this more of a gimmick that can make mothers go gaga over? Or are there more medical benefits to it than meet the eye? The main thing is actually curiosity. And we know that it's important to have mother and child bonding. If you can bond early by having a visual image of your baby, that, that is something uh, I think doctors would like to provide. It was amazing because you can actually see the um, child's face. Yeah, it's incredible. Yeah, it's amazing. Because sometimes it doesn't feel like you're really pregnant until you see it. Yeah, so it's pretty amazing. So it's certainly a far cry from trying to figure out where a head or hand is in this as opposed to this. Thanks to 4D ultrasound, parents can now play video clips of their babies captured on DVDs on their baby's very first birthday. This technology, however, runs the risk of being misconceived by parents as a new form of photo-taking opportunity rather than as a medical procedure. On the medical front, the elements of time and motion certainly render it a valuable tool for doctors and medical experts to detect and analyze in greater detail fetal structures that may be less accessible with either the 2D or 3D scans. 4D is basically 3D pictures in motion, especially useful in examination of the heart, where you can uh, look at a heart, uh, capture a 3D volume of it, and as the heart is a moving uh, object, we are able then to see the heart moving and we can examine it in all different planes of that 3D volume. It's very good in terms of examination of uh, uh, abnormal hearts where in the first 10 minutes you may not be able to um, be able to diagnose a complex heart abnormality. This gives us time to actually rotate the heart and see it in many, many different uh, planes. On a 3D, you, you're only getting a uh, it's a static picture and you just get a 3D volume of the heart which is not moving. To examine the heart, you really need to see how it moves and how it connects, how the flow moves. But how useful is this technology in helping parents decide if they should continue with or terminate a pregnancy? I think most time by the time patients request for 4D ultrasound, uh, the obstetrician looking after pregnancy would have done a detailed ultrasound scan to screen for any physical defects. This scan usually is done about uh, 20 weeks for the screening scan. So I think when the patient comes to request for uh, this 4D ultrasound scan, uh, I think they, uh, in the back of their mind, they're not worrying about detecting a physical defect. The law in Singapore allows a doctor to terminate pregnancy uh, by 24 weeks of pregnancy. If you if you use uh, 4D ultrasound, by the time you diagnose any critical physical defects, it will be too late for you to consider termination. Indeed, 
4D ultrasound can aid confirmation of the normal or abnormal development of an unborn child gathered from preliminary growth scans. But whatever your take on it, be it an increasingly commercialized gimmick or a gift that can make a difference between a lifetime of disaster or delight, 4D ultrasound certainly looks like it's set to stay. And if not in the minds of skeptical medical experts, then at least in the hearts of happy moms to be. Right, we have with us here today in our studio Dr. Lim, who is a gynecologist. And he will share with us some um, his views on some of the abortion cases that he has encountered personally as a doctor. And uh, so, Dr. Dr. Lim, tell me, do you think technologies, medical technologies such as the 4D ultrasound, can actually help to impact abortion rates here in Singapore, and in a, in a positive way, of course? To yes, uh, to some to some extent, for couples who are not so sure of going to have an abortion. The picture of the baby moving, usually baby look very cute on 4D. Uh, the picture may deter them from uh, going for abortion. Okay. But uh, for those who already make up their mind, they may, they may still go ahead with the abortion, but it still has educational value. Okay. It will give them a, a stronger imprint in their mind that actually there's life. Right. What's, the, what's the incidence of such cases where they've made up their minds, they went and saw a 4D ultrasound and they changed their minds? Is this like the number high? Uh, it's not high at the moment because uh, 4D is normally done at the later stage of right. pregnancy. Mm -hmm. So uh, for the first three months, most of the time 4Ds are not done unless you really want them to see what they are doing. Okay. And you were, you, know, you were mentioning that you have a few, um, you, you usually see patients who are really young, you know, like those who are in their teenage years, for instance. Yes. Do you, would you recommend that they, they look at, you know, do you think such showing them such visuals would actually help them to change their minds or think twice uh, about going for an abortion maybe? Or? Not, usually not, the, usually not the, the particular episode, but it will deter them from being careless in future. Yes, usually they are too young to be prepared to form a family. Right. I think counselling, discussing them, discussing with them the various options of uh, whether to keep the baby, probably more useful than showing them the ultrasound I for see. these teenagers. Okay. Sometimes you can explore with them the various possibilities. Some of them may, may be afraid to tell their parents, mm. but quite often to their surprise, when they so-called bring the bad news to their parents, yeah. At least half of the parents, you, you'll be able to decide more maturely. Right. They, they realize that here's the life involved. Uh, quite, uh, quite often I see parents, uh, instead of uh, punishing the children, they start to support the children. Mm -hmm. And the parents usually feel guilty when children make such mistakes. Parents tend to think that they have a part to play in right. causing this unplanned pregnancy. And uh, by supporting mm -hmm. the children, I have seen Many teenage girls uh, manage to get through the pregnancy and mm -hmm. deliver every good parental support. Right. Sometimes even without the boyfriend. Oh, okay. okay. Right. Um, so, anyway, uh, right now we, uh, we have some okay. comments coming in. Okay. Seems like some people are quite enamored of, of our interview with you. Uh, Harlot says um, at the baby pic is pretty cool, it resembles a fossil. Okay, anyway, and he also says. Uh, Anyway, if the guilt of ending a life doesn't stop abortion, I guess nothing else will. Yeah, what, what, what do you have to say to that, you know, with regard to the way people think about abortion and pregnancy nowadays? Um, I feel uh, the people have to learn to take more responsibility in having sex. Okay. In, my old, in the old days when we were teenagers, if we have sex with a girl, morally we feel obliged to marry the girl. Right, right. But this is not the case anymore yes. today, right? Still, I think, uh, if, especially the men, if they love their girls, even if they can't hold their emotion, they still should feel responsible for the health of the girls. That's right. They should use proper precaution. Okay. If you, if you are man enough, you should protect your girl. Okay. If you protect the girl, it involves using contraceptive as That's well. That's true. Okay. So what about, um, all right, you know, it was mentioned just now by one of the doctors that um, abortion is legal from um, within 24 weeks of yes. pregnancy. 
what, what is your what is your take? Do you think that the, there should be an amendment? Uh, most to... most part of the abortion act is still uh, is still very uh, current and uh, and up to date and uh, still still very very uh, applicable. But I think for the period of uh, twenty four weeks, mm. because of the progress in science the last forty years, okay, maybe we have to relook at the 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 limit the age limit of the pregnancy. Okay. Because very often now, baby can actually survive with 22 or 24 weeks. I see. Without improvement in technology. So and, uh, quite often, mistake can be made when the baby is actually 25, 26 weeks and, uh, and uh, the do doctor misjudged and thinks 24 weeks. When the baby comes out, the baby is actually alive. And uh, when the baby is alive, you really don't know what to do with the baby. Here, the mother doesn't want the baby. Yeah. And yet, the baby is alive. That's right. And uh, it, it usually end up with dilemma. The doctor or the nurses cannot leave the baby in the cold. But if you happen to help to resuscitate the baby, the baby will be alive. And I don't know who will be responsible for this baby. Right. So what do you suggest then? I How feel that uh, with this progressive advance in uh, medical treatment for, for premature babies, right. uh, the, uh, the age limit of our abortion should be lowered, or at least somewhere between 20 to 24 weeks. 20 it should be more strict on uh, the regulation. Mm -hmm. Instead of uh, just uh, treated like uh, abortion at uh, two months old, okay. this abortion perhaps should be reviewed by a board. Mm -hmm. The only problem is the board may need to react Like a fast. medical board, like a, a medical board. So for those people who, want, who are requesting for an abortion after 20 weeks, they have to go through a board to yeah. get approval. I, I feel that... Uh, uh, so that there won't be any error in terms of age, and now uh, you also give the you force the patient to think twice. Mm -hmm. Because at this age, the pregnancy has gone through halfway, more than halfway. That's true. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you, Dr. Lim. Some suggestions from the expert on how to bring down <laughs> abortion rates here. Mm -hmm. But uh, we're going to take a break now. So uh, see you after the break.